Hey, it's Jeff from Bover Trout Fitters. Today we're tying the Clouser Minnow. We're using a size six hook, size four, size two, that's tire's preference, three X to five X long. Uh, we'll be using lead eyes. You can also use uh, nickel coated eyes, the double people eyes, painted, lots of selection on eye choice. When we attach this eye, I like to leave maybe a quarter of an inch in front of the eye, just to mount the materials on. And I'll, I'll get a couple of thread wraps, a good lead, uh, thread base, and then I'll take and I'll mount my eyes with cross wraps. But to really affix these things, I like to do a little bit of thread just wrapping over the hook shank, but underneath the eyes. And I'll do two, three wraps, and then I'll give a good pull and two, three wraps and continue like that. And then you can just finish it up with a couple of figure eight wraps at the end. We'll stop our thread just ahead of the eyes. Now we're going to take some, <clears throat> some deer bucktail. Uh, today we're going to tie a tan and white. Lots of color choices here. Uh, you can do black, white, marabou, crelix. We'll see some of those other materials later. I like the bucktail to measure about twice the length of the hook shank. When you use longer hook shanks, two times the hook shank might be a little long but you do want the bucktail to stick out excess of the rear of the hook. We affix it at the front of the hook, before the eyes, and behind the eyes. <clears throat> and then we'll come back and we'll stop our thread just ahead of the eyes. Now we're gonna add some crystal flash. Uh, two strands, three strands, that's tire's choice. I like to have a little bit extra. If it's too flashy when you get on the water, you can always remove those. We're um, going to mount those just down the side of the fly. Everything we add to the fly, all the materials added after the, the, the white bucktail or the underside of the fly will be only attached ahead of the eyes. We won't secure anything on the back side of the eyes. Now we'll take our tan bucktail. <clears throat> we'll measure that to suit. It should be about the same length as the white. Get it as close as you can. If you're using the natural color, it's that, that tan hair is a little bit shorter than the white, but get it close, it'll, it'll work out just fine. We'll get a good thread wrap ahead of the eyes here, build a little bit of a nose, split the bucktail between the hook, get the bend of the hook as close to the middle as you can, and we'll give a few extra wraps here and build that head, and then we'll just whip finish that off. Two, three whip finishes is fine for this. We're going to add some lacquer to the thread and really seal that up. Getting back to the colors on these flies uh, and materials. <clears throat> Typically, a clouser is always meant to ride hook point up. That's why the, the dumbbell eyes are, are mounted on the bottom of the hook shank. So the white material should always be on that same side as the eyes. That way it, the, the white underbelly of the fly always shows to the bottom. You can use black, you can use brown, olive, you can use marabou, uh, barred marabou works great for that, that other color. And we even have some of the fun fur and, and different new materials that are coming out. Uh, the Clouser is a real simple fly to tie. It uh, fishes great just about anywhere. It's a great lead fly. It works a good trailing fly. Hope this helps you out. Enjoy the video.